all about making sure that you are over the grid hatchings, which everyone is just about able to do coming out of that final corner at turn 19. And for the fourth time in 2023, we, we are racing with the European Le Mans series at Spa Francorchamps. Investigation. And already a huge accident because several cars could not stop. The 22 United Order Sports car is off the road, but who was that on the inside? It was into two cars. 65, locked up way, way, way before the corner. Three, four cars off in the gravel. So that was Manuel Maldonado starting the Panis car and cleaning out two 20. further LMP2s. Rene Binder hooked up in that. Paul Lafargue in the 28 car. The and Marino car. Sato yeah. is in the gravel trap at the first corner. So now Kiffin Simpson leads from the pole position. But the massive place gain is Rui Andrade up to second position for inter Europol competition. Yeah, Paul Lafargue involved in that. Rene Binder involved in that. The 31 Racing Spirit Le Mans car is also in trouble looks to me like a couple of those cars have now got away Maldonado's got away Lafargue has got away but Sato Rennie Binder and Jacques Wolf have moved no further thus far so I need to find out exactly where Paul Lafargue uh, was at the first corner and uh, whether he was one of the ones locking up as well they all seem to be on the driver's right hand side of the grid and we talked about cold tyres and cold brakes. The ambient temperature nowhere near, of course, as high as it was uh, one round ago in Aragon. And uh, amazingly, Marino Sato is moving again. Significant damage to the back of that car. It's the, under, it's the underfloor of that car. Now, whether or not that's as simple as the rear clip, I'm not sure. Let's hope for United Autosports. That's the case. So, so far... We are under safety car. Safety we are car, unsurprising. Safety car. Just Jack Wolf, by the look of it, has not gone safety away. Safety car is going to be deployed. That was proper Bond villain there. I don't think Eduardo Freitas is very impressed with that at all, I, after all the various warnings. I think what you'll see, uh, Johnny, in the uh, replay we'll inevitably get there was fully locked up the Palace Racing car from way, way before the corner. Yeah. Across to the pit wall. And there was it looked All almost inevitable right at T1. with All a countdown. Right Watch again to the to the, the left hand side of the screen here. The deep blue car cuts across, fully locked up, and then smack. So he initially collected the 28 of Paul Lafargue, then the 30 car of Rene Binder, but it's the blue car with the red room. They're also spinning out Marino Sato into the gravel trap. But the car nearest us in that little three group there is the 65. Then there was a further wallop from an LMP3 car on the rear of Marino Sato, and that's what's done the damage to the back of the 22. 